What's up ladies and gents, this is Casey Kid coming at you with another Destiny video. So here it is, we're going after the bucket list attempt number 4. This time, we're looking for the blind perdition. So it seems like the Bungie Pulse Rifle bounties for that Quartermaster have come fast and furious. It's like each and every week, all I want is the freaking auto rifle bounties. And yes, it's very possible that at the time this video is actually coming out, we might have had auto rifle bounties for the week. And I might have actually missed them all, because right now, I'm at GuardianCon as you're watching this thing. <laughs> or maybe I'm on my way home, I'm not exactly sure when I'm scheduling this video to come out. But yes indeed, GuardianCon, hopefully it was a really good time, hopefully I didn't die in the Tampa heat. But oh man, we're pre-recording all these videos and it is crazy busy. Anyway, the bucket list. What we want is the blind perdition, that's pretty much the only thing that I'm striving for in this particular video. Really, we've already got the Scout Rifle, we got the Trials Auto Rifle, we did not yet get the Blind Perdition though. So Burning Eye, Vision Stone, done and done, no Blind Perdition. And we've opened up a lot of Pulse Rifle Bounties. Here, I believe we have 6 additional ones, plus we have some Shaxx Weekly Bounties, so we'll see what we get from those, and whatever stragglers we might have. We might have some Sidearm ones or some Heavy ones, those ones we seemingly get over and over again and are able to complete. But the only thing that truly, truly matters is the Pulse Rifle. That's all that truly, truly matters. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this. Hopefully we have some RNG and of course, chances are you might already have this gun and you might have it 16 times already, which means you guys are freaking lucky as crap. Way, way luckier than I am, so far at least. Anyway, let's get this stuff started. We're going to do our Warlock, then our Titan, then our Hunter, and then we are going to repeat. So getting started, here we are on our Warlock. This is from a couple weeks back. We've got some bounties we have to open. Again, we're just going to open them up all together. The Lord Shaxx Clash Bounty. We got a Hopscotch Pilgrim. So there is a Pulse Rifle, but that's not the Pulse Rifle we want. And it's not the bounty we could get it from. For our Heavy Weapon, it went directly into our Vault. And for our Pulse Rifle, it went directly into our Vault. So let's take a look at this Hopscotch Pilgrim first. And whenever we see it from the Director... Well, it's looking pretty solid. We've got Headseeker, which I know some people really, really like. Lightweight, Brace Frame, there you go for all the stability. And then, of course, Spray and Play. Not a bad combination at all. So Hopscotch Pilgrim, not too shabby. Not a bad way to start off our Pulse Rifles, at least. But we did get two things that went into the Vault. One of them could be really good. And it's not. Well, I don't know if it's not, but it's simply not exactly what we want. Starting off with the Smolder, why even talk about it? Let's just pass and go take a look at the Nerwin's Mercy that did not end up becoming the Blind Perdition. So this Nerwin's Mercy, actually it doesn't look that bad. Feeding Frenzy I really like, and Outlaw, that is a reload no matter what you're doing. But we don't have any additional stability, but then again, Nerwin's has amazing base stability. That base stability is absolutely phenomenal. So this weapon has all the reload you could ever, ever want. Moving on to our Titan. For character number two and attempt number two at the Blind Perdition, again, we've got some Heavy, some Pulse, and Clash. Opening up the Clash, we got a Matador. Let's save the Pulse. Let's go Heavy next. Heavy, we got a Tormod's Bellows, so Iron Banner gear. And then a Spare Change. Uh, no Blind Perdition in number two. No Blind Perdition number two. Let's take a look at this Matador. So, close or personal, rifle barrel, there we go, lots of range, so max range, lots of melee stuff, which actually, that doesn't look that bad as far as a combo together. And then field choke for even more range and a little bit of impact, so really pretty nice as far as the matador goes, though I've got so many of these things, I am going to delete it. But overall, a pretty nice close quarters matador, for sure. Only thing that would have made it better would have been to have aggressive ballistics instead of field choke, but you know. We were really, really close. We were really, really close anyway. As far as this rocket launcher goes, clown cartridge, oh my goodness, this thing can hold rockets for days. Tripod, field scout, clown cartridge, holy crap. This would give you rockets all over the place in PVE. It just has such a low blast radius, unfortunately. Unfortunately. And finally, let's check out this spare change, but no way, no way at all. The Parthian shot looks way, way better than this, absolutely not. Sorry, but this is just terrible, so bad, so bad. Moving on, moving on, moving on to our Hunter. So for our Hunter, 
we've got some Clash. Turning that in, we get another Matador. For our Heavy Weapon Bounty, we get a Bretomart Stand. Again, some Iron Banner stuff. And then a Nerwin. And then another Nerwins. Holy crap, we're going to have so many of those. So Bretomart Stand is an amazing machine gun. The problem is, this combination that we have here, oh my goodness. Handlaid Sock for all that stability for no range. It's just a pass. Pass on that. For the Matador, as far as this Matador goes, well, there's your aggressive ballistics. But what do we have for range? We do not have max range. So, unfortunately, pass by this one. And finally, our Nerwin's Mercy. Our Nerwin's Mercy is not looking very strong. Secret Round, hate that perk. Hate that perk. There's all the stability you could ever want with Brace Frame, but Glass Half Full. No way. Absolutely pass. Alright, time to double back. We're back on our Warlock. This was just the previous week. Let's open up the bounties here for our Warlock. Again, we've got a Shax. This one is from Supremacy. We got a Strange Coin. Actually, it's just going directly into the Postmaster because I am absolutely filled up. For our Sidearm, we got an Anton's Roll and then our Pulse, a Hopscotch Pilgrim. We're down to only two more of those to potentially get this Blind Prediction. Only two more. So our Anton's Roll, let's take a look at this. Overall, the roll isn't looking that bad. Mulligan, Cascade, we've got some extra range or Casket Mag, which I believe would actually bump this magazine size up to 18, which is really nice. And then Hot Swap. So that's not that bad of a sidearm. And then taking a look at this Hopscotch. Well, this Hopscotch is actually looking pretty solid as well. So we've got a couple different sights. I think I'd like to rock out my first one. Range Finder. Perfect Balance. Brace Frame for Max Stability. But I think I would go with Perfect Balance. Because just losing out on that tiny little bit isn't going to be worth lowering my magazine size. Keep my magazine and still have a ton of stability. Plus full auto in range finder. That's really good. That is a really, really nice hopscotch. What do you guys think about that one? What do you think about that hopscotch? And yes, you can see I really desperately need to clean this out. I actually already lost an item from just grabbing this steel oracle apparently. But for the steel oracle we got cluster bombs and we got field scout. So it's definitely trying to be a PvE rocket launcher. Tons and tons of blast radius and cluster bombs and field scout. Not too shabby for that, but we need to just pull it out and delete it. Moving on to our Titan. Two more. Two more chances at the Blind Perdition. For our Titan, we just have the Lord Shack Supremacy. And we got another Steel Oracle. And for our Pulse Bounty, it's going to go directly into the Postmaster. Let's see what our Steel Oracle looks like first. And this one, okay. Look at that. Grenades and Horseshoes. There we go. Problem is, you can't really use something like this in PvP because that velocity is so low. It would be really nice to have that quick draw on it, plus grenades and horseshoes. Even with soft launch, though it does wreck your blast radius, it gives you velocity, but I would pass. You probably have a better rocket launcher as it is. Now for the Postmaster. Hold no breath. Hold no breath. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's another spare change. And this one is not looking great either. Last resort, there is not enough stability. There's simply not enough stability. The Parthian Shot is just so beastly compared to this, and you know the Parthian Shot can 2 burst depending on Guardian Health, so pass, pass, pass. And finally, this is it. This is our last chance. Holy crap. Okay, again, starting with our Lord Shaxx Bounty, we got ourselves an exotic. There we go, about time. Lord Shaxx Bounties typically give exotics. That was the first one, though. And then for the Pulse, another Hopscotch Pilgrim. It's going to be another week, guys. It is going to be at least another week. So Zen Meteor, Zen Meteor coming to Xbox in October. Though, of course, by that time, most everybody watching this video is already going to be playing Destiny 2. So, you know, I'm not really going to talk about this weapon a lot because everybody knows what it does. Explosions, kills, you get a bigger explosion. But unfortunately, it's just not very good, unfortunately. And finally, for this Hopscotch Pilgrim, uh-oh. So we've got Spray and Play, we've got Perfect Balance, and Counterbalance. This looks amazing. Which one do you think is better? This one or the Rangefinder Perfect Balance one? Which one do you think is actually better? I think I might rock out this one because it has Counterbalance. So I do think I like this one better, but both of those Hopscotch I got, they were pretty sick. They were pretty sick. And you could have Injection Mold, but no way, I'm going Perfect Balance for sure. So unfortunately, we had six more freaking chances and zero 
blind predictions. Anyway, guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. Check out these awesome videos. Good luck with your raid, your drops, your crucible, and I'll see you around in Destiny. Hashtag never gonna get it.